What a mess. The hell is that? We've come back from the boatyard. Life is good back on the water. This place is a gigantic mess, even though everything you see here was on my way on a boat that we should be able to have multiplied the amount of space we have, but uh, that's not what it looks like here. It's just still an explosion of shit everywhere, and nothing has a spot. We have foam mattresses, two foam mattresses that I need to cover. <laughs> With a string and a needle, I hand stitched some recycled bed sheet over our new foam mattress. Most of the task involved wrestling with the thick memory foam in a confined space. One down. The mattress turned out okay, but rigging our mast was turning out to be much more of an issue. I've traditionally celebrated the Christmas holiday with my family by putting up and decorating a pine tree. This season, we removed all the ornaments from our mast and prepared to take it down instead. We started by putting away all the lines, sliding the slugs out to remove the mainsail, and detaching the gooseneck to take off the boom. <sighs> Still have losing pieces. We were now off to another boatyard to have the crane remove our mast. Yeah, we, we like loosen slightly and we just pop this, pop, pop, pop. You're in our video. Some ratchet straps. We list uh, the running backs and the marshes were completely like that. And the marshes went like, like that. That means that our back stay has, needs no tension at all. Like it just needs enough tension just to hold and when a and when a boat fills. A brave employee was sent up into the air to wrap the sling around our mast, just at the right spot so the whole thing would be balanced once it was free from our boat. And then it was time to release all the tension and pop off all the stays. Okay, now it should be easy for you to remove them. You can just pop them out. You don't even have to unscrew them. When a boat is naked like this, it's like a dog with its ears down. And now it's not raining, huh? Eh? Yeah. We're done, the shine's gonna, it's not gonna come off. No, Robbie! Up, up. Thank you so much, gentlemen. They are slightly flexible, you see, they're supposed to move that much. They have a tiny bit of play, but that bolt... That's all they're supposed to move. Yeah. The bolt is messed up. Yeah. 
it's okay there's no there's no corrosion there's no cracking that's what I'm looking at for corrosion and cracking and it looks all good and the shifts turn yeah it turns so we don't even have to I don't even have to deal with that new radio antenna new wire new index and boom spreaders we polish all the aluminium out meanwhile our friend Francis was on his way to getting the mast back up on his own boat. Right, Jimu? You good boy? We came along for the ride. So, Robbie, you've stolen your friend's boat now. Mm -hmm. Francis trying to uh, fix his nav lights just as the sun's going down. This is the best time to fix your nav lights. Ooh. Get him, Jimu. He's a pirate. Oh, oh, oh. Yay, they're working. I'll scrape it all down tomorrow. Put protection on it. Merry Christmas, everybody. We've removed all the fittings that we can so far. Almost all the fittings. Removed all the ropes. While everyone else around was probably opening gifts on Christmas morning, we were opening up a whole new boatwork can of worms. Okay, now we can clean the rest of the masthead.
put these messengers in in place of all your line and wires just to be temporarily in there while you work on the mast, right? Back off. We just took the measurements of both stays. Stays. We, we had old measurement from on the mass. That's here, twenty nine and four, and then the shortest one is seven eight. And when we take the average of both, and we run it off to the closest. I want a little bit more than a little bit extra. 29, 3 inches and a fourth. 29 inches. It's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the end of our rod rigging. I had enough of yours. On Robbie's birthday, we were invited by our friend to come out and sail on his beautiful Swan 51. She was so elegant and easy to use. We were inspired to have Rosa up and running in the same graceful manner soon. through